What's up everyone? Today we're going to talk about prop bets. But before we do, we would love it if you'd head over to TikTok, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram and give us a follow on all those social channels at SportswagerU. All right, let's jump into things. What is a prop bet? Well, we better define it if we're going to learn more about it. So the definition of a prop bet, prop is short for proposition bet. And this is a bet that isn't necessarily tied to the result of a game, but rather to an individual's performance or an event within that game. When you think about sports betting, most people just think about the three most popular types of bets, the spread, the over-under, the money line, but a prop bet considers basically all other aspects of a game. So what are the different types of prop bets? You have player props, game props, novelty props. Taking a look at player props, this all has to do with how an individual performs in a game. In the NBA, Chris Paul, will he have over six and a half assists or under six and a half assists? If you think he's going to go over that number, obviously you would take the over. In the NFL, a quarterback's uh, passing yards. Will Tom Brady throw for over 300 yards? If you think he's going to go over, you take the over. If you think he'll stay under that number, you'd obviously take the under. Game props, this doesn't deal with a specific individual, but more so a team or what happens throughout the game. So with the longest touchdown scored be over or under 50 yards. Again, you don't care who's scoring the touchdown as long as the touchdown is either over or under, depending on whatever you took. Which team will get to 10 points first? That's a fairly popular one. And then you have novelty props. And these are more prevalent in big events like the Super Bowl. How long will the national anthem be? You're guessing whether it's going to surpass a certain amount of time or stay under that amount of time. And this is a little hard to see, but uh, what color Gatorade will be poured on the winning coach? This gives you more than just two options of an over or under of a certain prop. But, you know, you have blue Gatorade, orange, red, clear, so many different options. But those novelty props are uh, used more so just in these really big games and events and are more so to bet on just for fun rather than finding any real value in those props. So I bet props. Well, they add additional action and excitement to games, really. So you don't like where the lines are set at for the spread or the total, or you're just not really finding much value in those numbers. Props are a good way to still be a part of the action. They're also a way to stay engaged throughout the entire game. Say you're waiting for LeBron James to hit over three threes. Well, every time he's on the court and every time he touches the ball, you're going to be sitting on the edge of your seat waiting to see if he'll shoot a three. It's also easier to find value. There's so many prop options that the lines aren't as sharp, especially when you have multiple seasons going on at one time. There could be hundreds and hundreds of prop options each night. And if you're able to focus on just one or two of those, that gives you a massive edge over the books who have to focus on all hundreds of them. That's all we have for you on betting props. Be sure to watch our videos about other key terms and check out sportswageringu.com for live and recorded classes. We'd also love it if you'd sign up for our newsletter for uh, up-to-date information, expert free picks, and new courses. Thanks for joining us.